He takes from the rich and gives to the, well, you know. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the most popular depictions of Sherwood Forest's tight-wearing vigilante in film and television. Robin Hood! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord bless me! <laughs> I mistook you for common thieves! Originally a staple of literature and theatre, the iconic hero Robin Hood popularized himself in film in 1922. Though not the first film based on the classic tale, the feature titled Douglas Fairbanks in Robin Hood received unprecedented attention due to its high-profile Hollywood treatment. Aside from being the most expensive silent film of its day, it introduced several signature elements of the series that would be included for years to come. Yet, despite setting the foundation for the thieving crusader's leap onto the silver screen, the adventures of Robin Hood astonished audiences by delivering a Technicolor extravaganza in 1938. Not only did it captivate moviegoers with its use of sound and color, but it quickly became considered the definitive Robin Hood depiction. This has been attributed to the 11 Academy Awards it won upon release and for being classified as culturally and historically significant by the Library of Congress. Are you with me? <laughs> Following its release, there was an explosion of uninspired takes on the timeless hero until the Canadian animated series Rocket Robin Hood debuted in 1966 to merge the medieval themes of old with the era's cultural fascination with space travel. Set in the year 3000 on the Sherwood Forest asteroid, it depicted the series' villain Prince John as the corrupt head of Nott, the National Outer Space Terrestrial Territories. I want more more taxes! More! Let that be a lesson to you, spacemen. Always be on your toes. As wacky as it was, Disney Pictures would go on to unveil its own bizarre spin on the character several years later, with their hand-drawn musical that represented the characters as various anthropomorphic animals. As such, Robin and Maid Marian appeared as foxes, Little John became a bear, and Prince John was shown as a cowardly, thumb-sucking lion. Following the feature's success, Robin Hood would achieve unprecedented widespread attention in 1991 when played by Kevin Costner in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Not only did the film give the story a dramatic tone, but it became the most reputable take on the character for the following two decades. In fact, the film was so influential when it was released that an entire episode of Star Trek The Next Generation quickly transported its crew to Sherwood Forest and placed Patrick Stewart in the iconic role of Robin of Loxley. Do you realize our lives are at stake here? Only oh, twelve. Shortly afterward, Mel Brooks released the wildly popular and incredibly hilarious comedy spoof Robin Hood Men in Tights. We're, we're, we're in an awful lot of trouble. <laughs> are you crazy? In the following years, the character would continue to be parodied, yet it was only in 2010 when Ridley Scott would return the character to mainstream attention by placing Russell Crowe in the role of Robin Hood. The film is notable for its serious take on the character and focus on portraying the subject matter in an extremely gritty and mature manner. 